Hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. What in the hell? You've gotta be kidding me. Just realized I wore these to Home Depot. Welcome back to the channel. All right, today's video, we are back on the Monport 60 watt CO2 laser. I haven't had a whole lot of time to spend with this thing, but I'm pretty excited to use it because this thing, it's badass. Now, if you've been following the channel, you may remember a video that I did a while back about marketing. Now, I'm not an expert at marketing and a couple little ideas that I had to help market your products or market your brand. So right now, we're gonna jump over to a clip from that video, and this is kind of what we're gonna be working on today. Tip number five is giving stuff away. That doesn't seem like a great idea, but it actually works really well. Like I mentioned in the previous tip, number four, targeting different groups, this is a great way to do that. You can make a design targeting a different group or an organization and give it to them. It gets your foot in the door. This is a pretty popular strategy for marketing. Sometimes you have to lose some money in order to make some money. So that is what we're gonna be working on today. We're going to give away. Hopefully going to get our foot in the door and maybe lead to some more business down the road. Now, if you don't already know by now, the Keystone Girl is a huge fan of Granger Smith, he is a country singer, and his apparel brand called Yee Yee. Yee Yee! It's actually how it's pronounced. Now they sell clothes and all kinds of different things. My wife frequently is ordering from them and the stuff is not cheap, but that's okay, it makes her happy. So what we're going to be doing today is I have this extra piece of leather. It's not really extra, I just have a piece of leather here. We're going to be making some Yee Yee keychains, just a very small little rectangular keychain. And I also purchased some smaller black keychain rings right here off of Amazon. I think it's like a 50 pack. I'd have to look at the order, who cares? So my plan is to engrave and cut out about 50 of those small leather keychains. We're gonna box them up. We're gonna send them to Texas. That is where the Yee Yee Apparel headquarters is located. But we'll get to that part at the end of the video. The first thing I wanna concentrate on is getting those keychains engraved and cut out of this leather. Leather. Red leather, yellow leather, red. <laughs> it. Damn it. Let me tighten that. Could have caused an accident. Now before I get too crazy and just go for it and cut all 50 of these keychains out, what I wanna do is uh, this small little space right here. I'm going to cut a couple of test pieces out on some different power settings so I can get those settings perfecto. Then once we get those power settings dialed in, we can nest that design on light burn and engrave and cut all 50 at one time. And stink bugs. Those things are hardy. Damn it. I think I pulled a quad. Now, I want you to keep in mind that I am a one man shop. I don't have any help in here. I really cannot do a lot of volume. So when I make these videos and I talk about all the different things that you can do on your machines, you definitely can do those things, but I personally don't. I don't do a lot of volume using the CNC plasma table, and I don't do a lot of volume using the Monport CO2 laser. That's why I like to stick toward more of the custom designs where there's a little bit more money. But with that Monport CO2 laser, being that it is a larger machine, a larger cutting platform, I actually can do some volume with a machine like that. Did I say machine? Machine. That is a nice machine. I am a sucker for a good machine. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? I forgot what I was saying now. Damn it. So if you are in a situation like I am, where you have some equipment, but you don't have the help to run it or the time to do all of that volume and get all those sales and make a bunch of money, the Monpour CO2 laser can give you that option and that ability to have the best of both worlds. To do the custom stuff a little at a time or do some volume like we're gonna do today. Anyways, I've talked enough. Let's get started already. Now, if you are interested in the Monport CO2 laser and you have not seen the channel yet, I did make another video. I will leave a link for that video down in the description. So I'm not gonna go over all the details on how to run this thing, what software I use. Check it out. Oh, you piece of All right, here goes our first attempt. Way too fast. Well, that one took about 
30 seconds to do and actually wasn't bad. It didn't cut all the way through the leather yet, so I definitely need to slow down the cut speed. All right, so here is the very first one. It barely engraved into the leather and when I cut it, it didn't even cut this one out. That's why it's still in the machine. Here are four other samples. Now in this one, I slowed the cutting way down and got it to actually cut out really nice and clean. On these other ones, I left the cut settings the same, but I slowed down the engraving and increased the power a little bit. Each one of these gets deeper and deeper until this one. This one's actually got a pretty decent depth cut out. All right, now that we have our sample cut and we have all of our settings dialed in, I'm gonna go ahead and nest this design on Lightburn, and then we can go ahead and cut out all of these all in one swipe. Now this one keychain took about 25 seconds to cut out. So I'm assuming 25 seconds times 50 of them. 25, it's 50, it's 25 seconds, I say it's 30 seconds, 50. Somewhere around 38 hours. I think my math is right. All right, now in order to nest those on this piece of leather, I need to make sure I measure it so I know exactly how much we can make. So 16 and a half inches wide by 12 inches tall. Oh. Damn it! I'll have to remove that hood. Now that we have our dimensions, what we're gonna do is hop back onto Lightburn and we're gonna use the square tool and we're gonna draw a square out on here. Then we're gonna go up on our dimensions and we're gonna type in 16.5 wide by 12 tall. Now, this right here is that piece of leather that we can actually cut these little keychains out of. Now, I'm going to highlight the keychain I'm gonna move it down here into the very bottom left corner, nice and tight. Then we're gonna click on this array tool right here. And basically, we're going to just start bumping the number up to see how many we can fit. Wow, that barely fits. And then we're gonna go up on the Y axis. Looks like that's too many. And we'll bump down. Now we hit OK. And we really don't even need this rectangle anymore, so we can go ahead and delete that. We know that if we start our origin right up here in this top right corner on the piece of material that we have, then it will cut all those out. We know it'll fit. How many do we have here? Five. Wow, that was absolutely perfect. We're gonna have exactly 50 keychains, which is what I was aiming for. So let's go ahead and get this machine set up. I'll set up a time lapse. All right, there is our action camera. Should give us a pretty cool shot. I used the keypad up here, you can see, to move the laser head around. And it's got that nice little laser dot on there so you know exactly where your origin is being placed. And then once you find that origin that you want, you just hit origin. And then right now, you can see that uh, I moved it. So if I hit reset, just give it a second, it should go to the home position and then it'll go back to my set origin. There we go. All right, all that's left to do is to hit the start button. There we go. done with all 50 keychains and they look pretty damn good. It's like a pile of burnt pubes. It's probably not the best example, but you can imagine that that would smell disgusting. There it is, free samples. Well, I was a little off on my estimate. This actually took an hour and eight minutes. I thought it was gonna maybe take around 25 minutes. I was way off. All right, now that these are all cut out, I have to clean all of the burnt residue off of them. There's like uh, 
kind of some dust from all of the burning. So I'll get them cleaned up. I'm just gonna use some soapy water and a damp microfiber towel. I'll spare you the footage of me cleaning all of these. Obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. Well, I said I'd spare you the footage of me cleaning all those, but look who showed up to lend me a hand. The family. They We're actually here. decided to finally contribute. <laughs> and this is hard work. All right, listen, pay attention. You're not getting paid. You know what, you're not getting paid anyway. All right, you're just gonna dip the corner into the soapy water, and you're, you're gonna clean it one way, very gentle, because you don't wanna rip it, and flip it the other way, and you're gonna clean it this way, and then you're gonna take the drying towel, and you're just gonna pat it. Pat it dry, and set it over here. You gotta leave a little bit of spacing so the edges can dry, okay? Now get to work! <laughs> get out of here. Let the women work, huh? You didn't bring a keystone by any chance, did you? Because I'm kind of bored now. No, I didn't. It's early. Is this considered some form of child labor? Because <laughs> we could possibly get in trouble for this. What if it's your kids, though? Does that count? Don't press hard, just like that. I don't want to ruin my favorite adjustable table. Links in the description. Never gets old. Okay, well, my helpers abandoned me. Now, we were able to get all these things cleaned pretty quick. It really didn't take that long. Now, I'm going to seal them. So I did a little bit of research on what the best thing is to seal leather with after you laser engrave on it. And from what I've seen, this Resoline, this stuff seems to be the ticket. This is their neutral Resoline. I will have a link for this stuff down in the description. And basically, it just puts an acrylic finish on the leather to protect it, kind of seal it just something to protect it. And the way we're gonna apply it is with this little skinny foam brush. Just gonna lightly spread it on there. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this stuff, let this stuff sit overnight. I don't think the drying time is all that long, but I'm gonna let them set overnight anyway. And then the Keystone Girl's gonna come back and help me put all of these uh, little keychain rings on. So I'm sure you're already skipping to that part before I even finish this sentence. I don't blame you. God, I feel like Martha Stewart right now, except she's got way more money. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to do multiple at a time because I'm freaking crazy like that. Kind of foamy. Oh yeah. And uh, it goes on kind of thick. And I don't need to get too crazy with these. They're just freaking keychains. I mean, who really gives a shit? But I do want them to hold up. I only have 4,000 more to go. It's nice that the brush is as wide as the keychain. You can nail this thing in one quick swipe. All right, you get the point. You don't need to watch me apply this crap to all 50 of these keychains. I'm gonna get the rest of these things sealed. We'll let them dry. I'll see you back here first thing in the morning. Actually, I'm gonna wake up, probably fart around for a little bit till about 8 or 8.30. So not first thing in the morning, but sometime early to mid-morning. Okay. All right, it's the next day, and I let these things set overnight to cure, which was way more than enough time for these things to cure. And they turned out really nice. They actually have a little bit of a sheen on them. So, oh, perfect timing. The I Keystone know. Girl just arrived. I'm gonna make her help me put all these keychain rings on. And you brought a gift. As always. A little early, but I'll, I'll choke it down. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. After we get all this done, I wanna go over some of the numbers for how much these cost per keychain and how much time it took per keychain and how much we would make if we were actually selling these versus just giving it away. <laughs> All right, we got 70 keychains. Right, you'll probably put on 10 and I'll probably have, end up putting 40 on, so I'm just spin it on like you normally would. Wait, keep we gotta keep count, because I don't want, I'm competitive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to break a nail. I don't know if I'm even getting it on there. Should we just do the thing where I just stand like this and act like my <laughs> arms are yours and you just have giant hands? Yeah. So people actually think you're doing something? Oh my God. What? You're like shaking. What, did you do some heavy drinking before this? No. What the hell is going on here? What did you do to that? Well, you got one. I know I did. Might if as well. you could just do like four, <laughs> that would be great. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll get them started and you just spin them on. How about that? Okay. I'm waiting. I did that one for you. <laughs> <laughs> we could switch if you want. <laughs> These will probably all end up getting thrown away. Yeah, like, like, they won't even open the box crap. at all. <laughs> They're gonna think it's a bomb and just throw it away. 
Adam's always texting me. It's like, give me some space, I man. Know. Did you know he's six foot five? Is he? Yeah. <laughs> Time. You're still going. Freaking fly. Oh, Mike. Damn it. Oh, it's right in your face. <laughs> That's mine. Oh. Oh, you did it. I picked up my favorite oh, one. Oh, my hand. All right, it's 17 hours later. <laughs> we finally got all them done. Now, let's talk numbers. Here is our pile of keychains. I mean, the quality is just impeccable. All right, so we have 50 keychains. The leather to make these 50 keychains cost approximately $10. The actual keychain rings, 50 of them, cost about $7 for all 50. And the sealer was about 11 bucks for this bottle, but obviously we didn't even put a dent in it. So I'm just gonna figure a dollar for the sealer because obviously I could continue. I said obviously a lot. <laughs> because of course I can continue to use this on other projects. For a grand total of $18 in material, to make all 50 keychains. Now, as far as time to make these 50, I figured it took 67 minutes total to make these 50 keychains, which is about one minute and 30 seconds per keychain. And if you have the Keystone Girl helping you, it's yeah. about one hour <laughs> per keychain. I helped. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, it took an hour and eight minutes to engrave all these, but with the Montport laser, you can go ahead and get your cut all set up hit the start button and you can walk away and do other things. Now, of course, I'm gonna be giving them to Yee Yee, so they're going to be free, but if I were to sell these wholesale, I could probably get away with selling these for about 250 a piece. And if I were to sell them for 250 a piece, I would make a grand total of $125 for these 50 keychains, minus the cost of material. I would make around $107 profit, which doesn't include my time. And as far as the retail price, I think that they would easily be able to sell these for $4.99 a piece. I know that seems crazy for a little piece of leather, but when you get the right brand, people will pay for it. I would. I know you would. <laughs> We're gonna give these to them and you're gonna end yeah. up buying one off of them. Probably. <laughs> I'm buy them all back. <laughs> you get a keychain, you get a keychain. That's smart business right there. <laughs> now I'm not an expert with wholesaling and putting prices on stuff, but those are just kind of uh, an estimate. So if you figure these at 250 a piece for wholesale, and it took a total of 67 minutes to make them, basically you can make around $112 an hour making keychains. Now again, all those numbers are just approximate values and estimates, they're pretty close, so don't nitpick me on the numbers. <laughs> and it's a win-win because the retailer can double their investment without doing anything. These things would just show up, people would order them. They could either toss them in an order just as a gift, or they can actually put them for sale on their website. It's whatever they want to do. All right, that is gonna wrap it up for this one. No one wants to see you, okay? <laughs> Here's my way. <laughs> All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. As you can see, even if you are just one person or maybe you have a family and some child labor that you can apply to this, <laughs> using this Monport CO2 laser will allow you to actually do some volume and make a pretty good amount of money for your time. Now today is October 27th, 2023 and Monport is currently having a Halloween sale with savings up to $1,600 off. So if you hurry up, you can take advantage of those savings. If it is past that date, make sure you use promo code Spicer Designs. That will save you 10% off your purchase. Yeah, I use my hands a lot, okay, I know. <laughs> like always, I will have links in the description. I'll have the link as well for the Halloween special that they're having and my discount code information, so make sure you check that out. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> you told me to bring the kids out. Go ahead, g give it a rip. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Am I not connected? Oh, the laser's not on. Dumbass. Every time I want to edit, I gotta like separate I your voice, and then I have to raise the volume on it. Why do you talk so loud? I just talk <laughs> in a normal tone so people can hear. So am I. I'll, well, I have it recorded, so I'll go back and replay it for you. Quit picking your nose and eating your sister's boogers. Stop. Can't see that. Uh, nah, that's not gonna work. What are you doing, licking the side of the table? <laughs> I can hear you mouth breathing over there. Yee <laughs> hee!